The Verbois Dam near Geneva. Here the River Rhone crosses the border into France, carrying along some nasty souvenirs, plastic waste. And this is only what's on the surface. Typically, a plastic object dumped in the countryside ends up in a river, brought there by the rain, and from there goes to the sea. 80% of sea pollution comes from the land, and 20% is rubbish from ships. Pascal Hagman knows the topic well. His NGO has conducted two research projects in the Mediterranean. For each, his boat spent a month collecting samples between the south of France, the Balearic Islands and Corsica. The samples were analysed at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, EPFL. I started by sorting out what was organic and what was plastic and then separating the microplastic from the pieces larger than 5 mm. The quantity of plastic micropollutants found in the Mediterranean, compared to plankton, was surprising. We're talking about an average of 100,000 particles per square kilometre. And what's worrying is the ratio of plastic mass versus organic mass. We find as much plastic waste as organic waste in the water. It's really frightening because you can see straight away how unhealthy that is to have as much microplastic as plankton in the sea. This phenomenon of small plastic particles resulting from the slow disintegration of plastic waste has been observed elsewhere too. Parts of the ocean are literally invaded by plastic waste. They contain seven times more microplastics than plankton, and fish can't tell the difference between the two. Transported by ocean currents, plastic has been accumulating in two huge areas, as large as Europe, in the North Atlantic and North Pacific. And it's believed that three more areas exist in the South Pacific, South Atlantic and the Indian Ocean with devastating effects for wildlife. The main consequence of plastic pollution is obstruction of the intestine. It's a problem for birds and even for cows where there's lots of littering. It can kill them. The second problem, which is still under dispute among scientists, is the chemical pollution. Some plastic elements like bisphenol A and phthalates can be digested by an organism and cause problems. Once ingested, the micropollutants make their way along the food chain from one organism to the next. And it's a growing phenomenon. In the early 50s, worldwide, we produced 1.5 million tonnes of plastic per year. Today, we produce 300 million tonnes, and 10% of it ends up in the oceans.